Okay, hello. So this is a virtual tour for 44 Minster Lane, Barron Furnace. Rather charming um, two-bedroom, semi-detached and furnace property available for long-term rent. So Minster Lane itself is quite a unique little street. It's a cul-de-sac, which makes it nice and quiet. It's just off Friars Lane, so about half a, half a mile into town outside of Roos. And what, five minute drive to BE systems, you know, loads of little amenities close by. Uh, there's a little Tesco just over the houses, about another quarter of a mile in that direction. More or less walking distance, really. Uh, and certainly walking distance to BE systems and cycling distance if you're that way inclined. People tend to go in on bikes or by the car in our experience. So you've got a nice driveway and a little bit of a garden for privacy at the front. I'm just trying to be keep the next door's neighbours car private for their considerations and then a good size single garage you've got power in there so you could have another freezer in there or some other kind of electrical items if you wanted to handy for bikes or a motorbike etc people tend not to have cars in them uh, so you could I suppose with consideration for the neighbour get two cars on here if you wanted to so as we come in you've got a nice little porch entrance and see what I like about the house is it's got a few more characterful features rather than just being your bog standard boring house, um, which I find it makes it quite appealing. So in here you've got original wooden flooring. It's a nice size room. Well, it's a big lounge really. You've got the part bay window and a working fireplace. So we'd have to have that swept, but if you want to have a, a working fire, you can have that. You don't need it. It's got gas central heated gas central heating um, but the fires there should you wish they, do, they are quite a nice feature we also, also have to take great care but a handy thing for heating the homes these days and again the back room's pleasant because it gives you a second reception space and it's all open so you can have another lounge home office whatever you want a bit of storage under the stairs there um, and have just a small kind of bistro dining set up or of course you could you could change it around there's ample room for that sofa to go in the lounge really and you have a bigger dining table here if you wanted so it's all open plan then you've got the patio doors going into the garden the garden's brilliant and then kitchen space here so it isn't a super modern kitchen to be fair but it's quite pleasant it's got everything you need gas hob which is yeah, usually much better we find than a electric hob and then this rear porch come some room come conservatory more of a rear porch um if i'm being honest it's not a massive space but it's quite pleasant you could certainly sit there on a winter's day in the sun and then into the garden which i think is great it's just it's such an odd plot it's quite unique because it's on the corner of kind of two or three streets here so you're backing onto everyone's garden so it, whilst you're in town it really does give you the impression that you're on the edge of town um you can hear the i think you can hear the doves cooing and whatnot so you know as i say it's a really mature garden so it, it, really we were looking for someone who does want to do a little bit of gardening if you're not wanting to do any gardening you really either need to take a, a different property or indeed have someone to come in and do things for you you know you don't need to go nuts but the grass needs to be kept on top of as do the borders and the shrubs otherwise they really just do go take over and go a bit crazy so as we come down here you need some more space there's a bit of an old garden shed there for storage it's not in perfect condition, so you know it's probably not super super dry, but it's handy for storing your garden tools and bits and bobs. Obviously, an old uh, the brown bins for garden waste, but you will not need to join the garden waste club, club um, which means they take your green bin, rather your brown bin, uh, once a fortnight. But I think it's only thirty quid a year. That's all. So again, some more lawn space here. And it brings us back to the back of the garage and the side gate. So what's important there is this is an enclosed garden, so it's quite private. You know, if, if you've got children, uh, there's no way of them getting out apart from at the back there. Depending on their age, my little lad would be out there in a shot. So we go back into the house and upstairs. I sometimes pause it, other times I just like to carry on waffling and move through. So again, you see that what's unique with this house is these days, this would be a three bedroom house, almost for certain, but you've only got two bedrooms. So what that means is 
you've got two very good sized bedrooms. I mean, they're both very pleasant. I personally, I think this is my favourite. Um, again, the mirrors on the wardrobe makes it feel even bigger. Excuse my ugly mug. But you're looking out of the gardens, and it's quite pleasant. Obviously, there's houses on the other side here, back of Friars Lane and whatnot. Um, but you've got mature trees. I just think it's a really pleasant outlook. Get myself in. So there we are, everything you need. Loads and loads of wardrobe space. And then as we come across the hallway, another big double bedroom. And to be fair, the, the outlook here is quite pleasant. You're not crowded in, you know, you're looking up down the street. Over in a distance there, uh, get your bearings, that's Holbeck over in that direction. You've got this um, handy little sink in here. Again, it's a fairly rare feature these days, just to show you from the other side. Okay, I'm going to finish up in the show you the shower room as well so it's available for long-term rent this property on a furnished basis so we'll maybe add a few bits and take a few bits out subject to agreement got a nice shower room in here uh, loads of storage inbuilt there really handy and practical and it's a it's a big shower enclosure I'm not sure the exact measurement but i'd say it's what they call a 1.5 so bigger than normal and a, a nice bit of vanity space there and a large mirror for dressing so if you want more information you can do various things you can go onto our website www.pclettings.com have a look obviously at the other available properties on this youtube uh, channel or list i think they call it um also you can have a look at our facebook page but to be honest the best thing to do is just go on the website www.pclettings.com you've got frequently asked questions information about how to apply so on and so forth you will see we ask a lot of questions from applicants but in all honesty the market's super busy and we try and avoid having to decline people for properties we don't like doing that it's unpleasant for everybody so we try and make sure things are going to uh, look like they're going forward from the from the start it is available for long-term let, and if you want any more information uh, or to book a viewing, you can either ring the office 01229 831111 or email lynn or sophie at pclettings.com, and we're happy to uh, organise a viewing. Thanks very much for watching.